Well, we should be live. I always, I always, I never know when to start these because I'm not sure if we're, we're live right away. I don't know, like, if it takes a little bit of time. I know it does take a little bit of time, but it never, all right, I see NW, NWP Dark. All right, you guys are, are chatting, meaning we are live. So, hello, everyone. It's Dylan from Yu-Gi-Oh! Everything, and welcome back to another uh, pack opening video. This is an exciting one. We have a, our uh, first Speed Duel booster box that we will be opening, Speed Duel Attack from the Deep. Very excited to get into it, and uh, as I always do in the first uh, minute of these streams, I will try to say hi to everyone that's here early. Thank you guys for coming. NWP Dark, Andre Cabongo, Mr. Sandbag, Goosey Q, Anthony Duran, Patusis, Heike Nephilim, Brendan Nadoro, Ute Uto, Playmaker Muhammad, Zelda Fanboy, Elizabeth W, Ute again, Uto. I, I always end up saying multiple names uh, over and over. Shark Tail, or the same name multiple times. Aura Dragon, Sacred Organs, The Jared Punch, The V Blade, Brandon Salas, Taker Napper, Cyber Screen. Ninja, Riley Bullington, Davis Enos, uh, Cusley, Anthony, Brendan, Dee Dee Kaiser, V-Blade. I'm definitely repeating a lot of the same names. Thank you guys so much for coming by, and I really hope you do uh, enjoy the first ever Speed Duel box opening. Now, I am giving away a copy of Attack from the Deep as well. This is going to be the box I open. This will be the box that I give away. So make sure that you do uh, enter the giveaway. It's completely free to enter. It does not matter where you live in the world. Uh, I will ship it out to you. The link to enter that giveaway is in the description. Hopefully, most of you have entered the Dark Neostorm giveaway. That giveaway is is closed. Uh, it closed at the end of May, but I will be pulling the winner for the Dark Neo Storm box giveaway, as well as the five patrons who will be taking home a pack of Dark Neo Storm each. I need to get an actual stand for this second webcam so that it's not always flying around. But yeah, if you are a patron of mine, whether you are a, a $4 page, $4 patron is not even a thing, a $5 patron, a $20 patron, a $1 patron, you're always entered to win a pack. Uh, you're always automatically entered to be in that drawing. So I will be giving away, as I always do, five packs of Attack from the Deep as well. But we'll worry about that when we get to that uh, later when we do the, the speed duel opening. That won't be for a while. Um, but yeah, Dreary Doll, how you doing? Uh, I say without further ado, let's get right into it. Uh, we're going to open these packs. Barrett Letty, the voice actor of Akira Zizen, will be joining us a little later on. So uh, yeah, I'm excited. And um, yeah, green. I'm glad you guys like the green screen. I, I like it a lot. And uh, yeah, so here we go. Seto Kaiba, Speed Duel Feeding Frenzy, Attack from the Deep. Uh, of course, that was, I believe, the title of the Mako Tsunami Yugi Moto dual episode. So, uh, you know, nice little reference there. But let's uh, open this box. I forgot the the scissors. So, yeah, you can use speed duel cards in regular TCG duels, but you cannot use regular. Right. I was aware of that. You, you can't just use regular cards uh, for speed duels, obviously, because that would kind of ruin the uh, <laughs> ruin the whole point of of speed duel packs and stuff. So yeah, Guilford the Lightning would be awesome. Sonic Bird would be awesome. Uh, awesome. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm really excited. Yeah, I got a green screen, so uh, that's why I'm able to just kind of render myself right in, which I, I like the look of it. And uh, yeah, nice nice box here. We got four cards per pack. Uh, 36 packs per box. So we have a lot of cards to get through. Uh, usually, I believe there's about, there's like nine cards per pack, at least in Dark Neo Storm there was. Let's see if I can open this the right way. I always uh, mess it up. You gotta like, open, right, you gotta open it through here and then poke it out through the side. All right, I think we're doing well so far. Is this a, no, no, I think, I think we got it. Yeah, yeah. That was, that was the smoothest I've ever opened a box in my life. That also will be the smoothest that I ever open a box in, uh, in my life. So that's awesome. And, uh, yeah, let's, uh, oh, before I actually, you know, fold it up properly, let's just get some packs out of here. I'm excited, man. I hope we pull some really cool cards. I hope we pull some of the skill cards. I really like the skill cards. Uh, other than that, like Sonic Bird's got decent value. It's going for like eight, nine bucks, but you know, nothing crazy in here. Honestly, though, I never sell these cards anyway. I usually just like to collect them. I enjoy opening, so that's usually what I'm in it for. Brian, how you doing? Liz, how you doing? Yeah, thank you guys. I'm glad you guys like the green screen. Uh, yeah, I, I like it a lot too. So let's uh, let's get right into it. A lot of OG cards. And so each Speed Duel card, for those of you that are not aware, right where my left thumb is, they have a thing written as Speed Duel. 
and that basically means you can play this card in a speed duel, obviously. If a card does not have that message, it's ineligible for speed duel. So that's how they tell the difference um, between what's a speed duel card and what's not a speed duel card. So Jin Deserere of Rituals. We have More of Greed. Nice little pot of greed face on that one. Uh, Imarica, a cute little dolphin dude. That's pretty cool. Uh, and Joey Wheeler, it's my lucky day. Joey Wheeler, dude. I, such a such a great dude. Uh, let's see what this skill is. When you activate an effect that would make you roll, when you activate an effect that would make you roll a six-sided die or flip a coin, you can pay one thousand life points to decide the result of one die or coin. This skill can only be used once per duel. So for those uh, people who want to play Sayu's deck, Sartorius's deck. Uh, Arcana Force, that's a great card for you. But yeah, it's my lucky day, Joey Wheeler. Uh, I love it. And I guess it is my lucky day because I know skill cards are kind of difficult to get. So yeah, I'm gonna, I am don't worry. I'm going to butcher my, my fair share of cards, Med Kaiser. Don't you worry. <laughs> Let me see something. All right, cool. Yeah, I think I probably will win against Go. Ah, uh, Sinister Serpent, a card that gave many people nightmares back in the day until the... Uh, not the not the reprint, but the errata. Uh, Sonic Duck, not the Sonic we're looking for, but uh, you know Sonic the Hedgehog would be a great one to get. But we'll we'll take Sonic Duck. Lost Blue Breaker, and Great Phantom Thief. Man, it's cool to see a lot of these OG cards back in action because you know most of these cards are going to be cards that were very old. Sinister Serpent, for instance. Let me uh, take a swig of water here. I got to tell you, the one thing that annoys me is some people can just talk and talk and talk without, like, ever having to take a break of water. Not me. Yes, Pain96. I did see a new manga was announced. I will be posting a um, a video on that tomorrow, so I'll, I'll be giving my thoughts tomorrow. But, yeah, cool stuff. Interesting that it's taking place in the Psycho card battle universe. I think that's kind of cool continuity. Uh, another Sonic Duck. Mask of the Accursed. Wasn't this a decent card? The equipped monster cannot attack once per turn during your standby phase. Inflict 500 damage to the controller of the equipped monster. Yeah, back in the day, back in the uh, early 2000s when I played that Game Boy game, this was a one that I, uh, this was a card that I like to use a lot. I like to do that, that burn damage. And it prevents the monster from attacking. So it's a pretty decent card. At least it was back in the day. Magical Undertaker. A uh, flip effect, man. You don't see these too often. You can target one level four or lower spell caster monster in your grave special summon. That's not too bad. And Robin Zombie. See, I love these earlier cards, by the way, because, like, there's not, there's barely any, like, text on them. If your monster inflicts battle damage to your opponent, send the top card of their deck to the grave. Simple as that. Simple as that. Now in all the cards, you got these, like, 50 paragraph messages. And, uh, you know, I mean, it's not bad. Obviously, I, I love the game, but, man, it's just, it, it's funny reading the uh, the old cards, because it was just so different. It's great. Do you have the game, Brian? That's awesome. I never played the game. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Another uh, Imaruka, cute dolphin. Uh, great white, a classic staple of the Mako Tsunami. This was a, I mean, any card that was like level four that had decently high attack was, I always viewed as really good back in like the early days. Again, when I played that Game Boy game, Great White was always a card that I ran. 1,600 attack for a, a level 4 monster. Sword of Dark Destruction. Equip only to a dark monster. It gains 400 attack and loses 200 defense. And then, oof, this is a sick card. Levia Dragon, Daedalus. I definitely did not say that right. You can send one face up Umi you control to the grave. Destroy all other cards on field. That is actually a pretty uh, decent card right there. And again, I love collecting. I do like the artwork on that quite a bit. I don't remember that card at all. I don't know if Mako Tsunami ever used that card. Probably not. But uh, yeah, I like that card at all. There's 9,000 cards, guys. It's I'm sure some people can name literally all of the cards, but geez. Oh, and it's Brad as HD is blessing us in the stream. Very intelligent guy. Obviously, speed duels are very similar to Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Link. Literally, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links ha does speed duels. So, um, you know, if you want good formats on speed dueling, the uh, Duel Links Yugi tubers definitely are going to know a lot about it. So, yeah, that's a that's a good card, I guess, according to Brad. Definitely check out his channel. Great Duel Links guy. A uh, good friend of mine. Thebin Nightmare. 
Warrior Digreffer. This was another card. These vanilla level four high attack point monsters that I absolutely loved. And uh, yeah, Warrior Digreffer was absolutely one. Axerator was another one. Man, these are I'm I love how I'm, I'm owning these cards now. Like this is uh, I, I'm getting excited about owning Axerator. That's got to be the most pathetic thing in the world. Ready for intercepting. Target one warrior or spellcaster on the field. Change the target to face down defense position. Not too shabby, although, well, I guess if it's a high, strong attack point monster, you can just flip it to defense and then try to destroy it that way. Not too bad. We have another uh, magical... Am I ever going to get dual links? Probably not, Brian. I mean, maybe. Maybe. But I don't know. I wish I, I just wish I had more time. Dual links is something that I do want to get into at some point. Just for fun, though. I would definitely not try to, like, play competitively. Just to, like, see what it's all about. Another Robin Zombie. Mystical Elf. Dude, this was the card, man. This was the card. I When I opened with this card back in the day, I was so happy. Because I was like, I can set it face down in defense. Giant Soldier of Stone was another one. The, the AI, the computer, is going to summon a monster. They're going to attack. I'm going to get an early edge. I'm going to be able to tribute it. Dude, the game was so different back then, but these cards are really just bringing back that, that Game Boy nostalgia, man. I absolutely love it. Jeez. Jesse Dunn, how you doing, man? Thank you for coming by. I appreciate it. We have a, uh, a spell card here, Water Hazard. Arcane Barrier. I actually like the uh, the art on that quite a bit. Each time a face-up spellcaster monster on the field is destroyed, place one spell counter on this card. Uh, max four. You can send this card to the grave. And one face-up spellcaster you send to the grave and draw one card for each spell counter. Oh, that's not too bad. Uh, Dweller in the Depths. And Umi. That's, a I know, a very good card. Um, at least if you're going to try to play Water Monsters, Mako Tsunami was famous for playing that one. So good, uh, good water spell field spell there yes good luck at uh wcq sam i'm really rooting for you man i wish you luck too when we do the uh the live stream on saturday claws how you doing thanks for coming by and forte thank you for coming by forte coming by right as we get mako tsunami's true ace monster the legendary fisherman that's awesome i'm that is a really cool card uh fulfillment of the contract Another Jinn of Rituals and an Amazonus. I didn't even know Amazonuses were uh, were in this uh, in this pack. An Amazonus trainee. So a little My Valentine action there. That's uh, that's pretty cool. The only I think really valuable card we've gotten so far is the um, the Talking Yu-Gi-Oh one, Sam. The Into the Vrains one. The only um, valuable card was that Joey Wheeler skill card, but that's not bad. Infernity Beast. Uh, we got a little uh, Kiru love in a uh, <laughs> in a an attack from the deep here. I love it. Oh man, Infernities, dude! Another great white power of Kaishin and Fishborg Planter. Infernity. I, I Amazonus. I didn't know was in this. Infernity. I didn't know was in this. I never really look at the deck set. I just kind of open them because I feel like that's that's the funnest way for me to to do them. And, and now, literally every pack from here on out, I bet you we're going to have an Infernity Beast. Another Infernity Beast. Goblin Zombie. Dude, this was the... Was this the card I'm thinking of? If this card inflicts battle damage, send the top card of their deck to the grave. If this card is sent from the field to the grave, add one zombie. I don't think it is the... Because the, the, go, the Goblin Zombie monster I'm thinking of had like 1,900 attack, if that makes any sense to people. Another Mask of the Accursed. And another Umi. All right, we're rolling along here. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, he was the only one that gave Yusei a defeat. So, um, we are going to be joined right now by uh, a well-known guy, Barrett Letty. How you doing, man? On. How you doing, dude? I'm doing great. Good. I'm glad. Thank we're you for. Live? Are we on the radio? We're we're li well, we're not on the radio, but we yeah we are live. Uh, we are opening some Attack from the Deep, and Barrett Letty is the uh, voice actor of Akira Zaisen in the Yu-Gi-Oh! Vrains dub. And, uh, also, who do you, who, what's the character you dub in, in Pokemon? I always forget the name. Mo, uh, Molane. Molane, uh, Molane. Beloved, uh, member of the Elite Four. Oh, Molane's in the Elite Four. I, I did not know Molane well, was in I the Elite it, Four. I think in the, the game he is, right? Or... He might be, he might be. 
I um we have a our first a uh, fusion monster actually. We have a, exciting. Re, a very exciting Ryu Senshi, which is a fusion of Warrior Digreffer and Spirit Ryu. I did not know this war this uh, fusion even existed. I did not know Warrior Digreffer had a fusion, so that's a uh, that's a cool way to find out. I'll see you. You thanks for coming by, man. I'll, I appreciate it. Are you? Uh, can you hear me? Okay. Yeah, I think so. Let me um raise you just in case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I I think you're coming in good. I think you're coming in okay. I'm burning a, a nice uh, I'm burning a nice candle. Oh, an incensed candle? Not an incensed candle. No, uh, a, a Yankee candle, Nantucket breeze. Oh, okay. So it, kind of a beachy, uh, uh, you know, a beach scent. Okay, so it so it is uh, it's scented in in a de- to a degree. Yeah, I guess. But incense isn't that a specific thing? Yeah, I, right. I, I guess an incented candle is a is a uh, specific thing. I don't know. Listen, I'm, Dylan. I, I, I don't claim to be an expert on candles. Well, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know anything about candles. You have any? I no, I don't have any candles. Candles were illegal in my dorm room, so I never had candles. Did you? You know, you should buy a nice gift for your mom. A nice, a nice, a uh, nice candle. I should. I should. Yeah, and you um, appreciate it. Yeah, I think she would. I think she would. All right, I got your. I gra- always get my mom a candle for 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 holidays. I usually go with a um like a garden thing because my mom likes to garden, so I usually get like a. Oh, uh, like a new rake. No, not like a rake, like a like a statue, like a garden statue. <laughs> like a garden gnome. Not a garden gnome, but like you know, an a cute animal statue. Hocus Pocus. How, how you many, doing? How many statues does she now have? Well, her? Oh, it must be cluttered. <laughs> that's the problem. We have a lot of statues now. <laughs> yeah, so maybe it's time to move on. I think it's time to get something else. We got uh, Slushy, this monster. I I guess this, mon- this monster actually looks like a Slushy, and I think that's what it's supposed to be because there's two cups on the artwork. And, uh, yeah, that is an interesting-looking monster right there. Slushy. All right, that's that's interesting. Pyramid of Wonders and another Sword of Dark Destruction. Yeah, I'll, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll look into getting her a candle. Yeah, that would be nice, right? I think that I think that would be a, a smart way to, to go Everyone about it. Everyone in the comments, you can say your favorite uh, your favorite scent of candle, and and maybe and maybe Dylan will uh, yeah. Will let me know just one of those. Yeah, let me know your your favorite scent of candle, you guys. Yeah, weigh in. Wait, <laughs> did you did you get any good um, song requests? Haven't got we haven't gotten. I don't think we've gotten any ultra rares yet. We may have gotten. I don't know if I, I. I did get some good song requests. I have to review them again before uh, before it's singing time. But uh, yes, uh, you keep uh, keep sending them in if you'd like. You know, there's plenty. There's plenty of songs out there. Absolutely. I can name at least twelve. A lot of songs. We have another snack. We have Sinister Serpent. Uh, our first warrior elimination. Destroy all warrior monsters on the field. That's a pretty. Good card if you're going up against Warriors. Lost Blue Breaker and another Amazonus trainee. So we're still looking for Sonic Bird. I'm confident we'll get it, though, at some point. I've always been a big fan of the Sonic the Hedgehog games, and I think my love for Sonic the Hedgehog will will lead us into getting Sonic Bird. Oh, yeah? That that's Is that good logic? I think so. All right, good, as long as you think so. We have another yeah. uh, power of, of Cation. We have a Fishborg Planter, another Jin, and another Moray of Greed, which is actually just, it's honestly a gross card, because it's supposed to be like Moray, a... Moray, uh, Moray Eel? It's supposed to be a Moray Eel, but do you know the card Pot of Greed? Sure. Well, the face that the Pot of Greed has is the the face of the eel, so just picture that on like a long green... I gotta tell you, if I was scuba diving... That's one of the reasons I'm a little nervous about going scuba diving. That and also, I mean, oh, you know, when would I even do it? But if I did, uh, oh, I wouldn't want to run into one of those eels, that's for sure. No, no, no. Well, I, I've never been scuba diving. Barrett, our friend uh, Bacon Devil is here. Hey, Bacon Devil. Bacon Devil. Now, Bacon Devil wants you to sing the Zexel theme song, Take a Chance, which I am 100% on board with. I think you absolutely should sing that oh, song. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> All right, okay, we could, we could do that. We could do that one later on. So we, we have a card here, Zombina. Do you know the song Zombie by the Cranberries, by the way? 
Yeah, zombie. Yeah, of course. It's a classic. Well, whenever whenever I see Zombina, there's also a card called Z Zombino. I just I think of that song and I think of the chorus. But instead of her saying zombie over and over, I think of her saying Zombina. I don't know why, but it's just, well, that's, just, a, that's a good parallel to draw. Yeah, I guess it is. So, but you then like that the cranberries. I I I know a couple of their songs, but I have not listened Which, to them. What's your favorite? I like the um. Oh, I don't know the. Oh, you the, like you like linger. No, I only know Zombie and, and one other that was in the movie. I don't know it. Colors is a good no. song. Do you know Colors? Have you seen Code Geass or heard of Code Geass? Nope. No, it's a good show. I definitely recommend it if you have time. I'm uh, I, I'm I'm not very well versed in many animes, but I'm learning. Brian, how you doing? I appreciate it. And uh, people, you know what? You know what I learned, Hocus? Though no matter what, I um. I say people are always going to think I have weird music taste. Is is me thinking the Cranberries have a couple good songs? Is that weird? Oh, wait, hold on. I don't know. I, I prefer Cran Apple. <laughs> we, we just got Carl the Pony. How you doing? We just got Guilford the Lightning. This was a card that I really, really wanted to get in this set. Ooh. And uh, yeah, that is awesome. Guilford the Lightning, a classic Joey Wheeler monster. This, I just The design is great. Awesome monster here. Really, wow. really glad we got it. Actually, the Very last shiny. The last pack of our uh, our first half of these packs, so really glad we got Guild for the Lightning. I'll put that off to the side. So cool, we got Guild for the Lightning. We got Joey Wheeler's skill. It was really a, a Joey Wheeler opening, and now How let's. How do you uh, store your cards? Dylan? You keep them in individual sleeves. So the the really rare ones, the ones that have a decent amount of value, I do keep yeah. in individual sleeves. Otherwise, I literally take them all, and mm -hmm. I put them. Right you in. Just mush them into a box? No, well, I put them in the box that I open them from. So, like, all the cards that I open that I just want to keep that I'm not going to sleeve, I'll just put right in here. And then I'll have them all on display for, like, videos and stuff. Makes good, like, background uh, stuff. Good background, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. imagery, I guess you can say, having all these boxes. So, you know, hey, it, you it's could cool. Put them, like, you could put each card in, in between uh, two slices of bread. I could do that. I absolutely could do that. Well, Barrett, we have our uh, first donation, and the donation does have to do with you. Barrett, watch out for I. That's what Nicholas oh, Horton. Thank you, Nicholas Horton. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you so much for the donation. Um, I better lock my door. You better lock your door. I is, yeah, I gave you three days, man, so good luck, dude. <laughs> All right. Oh, boy. Yeah. Um, dweller. Do you um, lock your house up at night, Dylan? Are you very, uh... I always make sure to lock the door. So my, I feel like some people are a little more uh, lax about that. My I always lock the old door. Yeah, my mom grew up in Brooklyn, uh, and my dad grew up in Bay Ridge, and they saw their fair share of crime over the first, you know, 40, 30, 40 years of their life. So and, and committed some, I'm sure. Maybe. I, I can't say that legally, but... Um, oh. <laughs> But another Amazonist trainee and another Dylan, high. You ever, you ever, Dylan, you ever commit a crime? No, I've I've never, I've never. Well, like, no, I've never committed a, a major crime. I thought. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, we won't talk about that. <laughs> anyway, we we have You're an. Always stealing antiques. I thought. We have an alarm system in our house, uh, so we good. do we do lock up. Hmm. Oh, Dust bet, Tornado. Uh, so Dust yeah. Tornado is one of the more valuable cards of the set. I think it's going for like five bucks, which is pretty solid. Uh, target one spell slash trap your opponent controls. Destroy that target. Then you can set one spell slash trap from your hand. Uh, so it's a pretty solid card. I mean, very similar to Twin Twisters, except you're only destroying one. And it's a trap, so you have to wait. It doesn't have the same speed of a Twin Twister, but still a good removal card. I feel like it's hey, a decent Dylan, trap. Quick. Yeah. Um, I, I sometimes I'll watch these back, uh, you know, a couple weeks later. Can I just put in, I want to put in a reminder for myself. Uh, Barrett, uh, check the cupboards. If you're out of, probably out of paper towels, go buy some more paper towels. Okay, thank you. That'll help me in a couple weeks. Well, wouldn't it have been easier to just set a reminder in your phone to go off in a couple weeks? Uh, no, because I'll probably watch the video or, or something or... Or maybe uh, someone else will watch the video and then send me a message and say, hey, I just watched your video. You said you needed paper towels. Just letting you know. 
Yeah, but then you're going to get... Yeah, actually, you know what? Hocus makes a great point. Uh, she says that you're scoping out my security so that you can break into it. I'm actually I'm actually kind of concerned yeah, I, that that's why you just, asked if I... But only, I'm, it's only to steal paper towels, so... All right, all right, fine, yeah. fine. Dylan, do you want to set a reminder for yourself, too? No, but we have... Uh, N- Nina's in the chat, so she's she's setting your reminder. Or she's, oh, thank you. Yeah, she's giving you an extra reminder. She'll she'll reach out to you, I'm sure. Nina, thanks for coming by. I appreciate thank it. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Nina. Uh, so nothing cracking. Although we, you know, we got we got Guildford the Lightning, we got Dust Tornado, we got Joey Wheeler's skill. I'm I'm pretty content with things, and we still got a decent amount of packs here. We probably have about ten packs left, and then we will get into the winner of Dark Neo Storm, which will be exciting. Can't wait for it. You ever open the? You ever open the card? You ever open the packs like with the, with like a pen? Or you always just use the, the use your hands? I always use my hands. I think it's easier to use your hands, and with a pen, you you might risk like damaging the cards. Yeah, you know? I, just, I just bite them. You just bite them, and that is a way people open it. Uh, we do have a donation from Patasis Hakai Nephilim. I that is a long name, man, but I absolutely love it. Thank you so much Stay for the donation. And uh, he wrote, Barrett, you must stop I from ruling Zawerldo, which is a, a JoJo reference, of course. Uh, Barrett, how do you how do you feel about that, man? You got to stop I, dude. I, I can only do so much. <laughs> I mean, uh, so you're. I have very yeah. limited abilities to stop the characters from so, doing things. So you're you're delegating. You're basically delegating the responsibility to other people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, like any good uh, corporation leader. I can't even remember to buy paper towels. Yeah, Barrett's How are setting. You me? Yeah, guys, the the world is in trouble. Honestly, Barrett's setting reminders to buy paper towels through my YouTube channel. That's not good. I guess like if someone can, if, I guess if I confronted me, I could maybe throw paper towels at him, but I probably also wouldn't have any available. So, cause I wouldn't remember to buy them. Pattis says, <laughs> thank you for the donation, dude. We do have a good card here. Uh, the forceful checkpoint. And this card, when an opponent's monster declares an attack, look at your opponent's hand. If there is a monster card, negate the attack, then discard one monster from their hand. Uh, your choice. So that's actually pretty good, assuming that your opponent has a monster in their hand, which I feel like in most cases they probably will. It's a pretty decent trap, honestly, because uh, not only do you negate the attack, but you can get rid of a card from your opponent's hand. So that's what pretty solid. What a beautiful card. Very beautifully illustrated. That is a beautiful card. His life is in if danger, you Nina. That, you see how there's like a little guy hiding in the back of the cart? Yes. Uh, that, yes. If you saw him, if you saw him in your garage, what would you do? This dude, I, I mean, I, I well, first of all, it's like it, he looks kind of like Shrek, but not as a, you know, not as good looking as Shrek. Not saying Shrek are you is. Saying, are you saying Shrek is good? No, looking, I'm not say, saying that's that's. I know that's going to be taken out of context horribly. I'm not Everyone, saying. Everyone, quick, quick, take it out of context. No. Run with it. I, I'm I'm not I'm not saying Shrek is good looking. I'm just saying that he's you know he's a gr- he's gross looking. Um, Pete, how you doing, man? Yeah, the um, the Pokemon Direct is awesome. I can't wait. Uh, I'm really excited for the. I'm probably gonna get Sword. I like the Sword Legendary a little better. Another Legendary Fisherman. That's awesome. Hey, your uh, ship name would be uh, Shrillin, Shrek and Dylan. No, we're not. We're not gonna start that. Uh, no, ba- Bacon Devil, we're not going to start it, man. <laughs> uh, well, hey, yeah. did you hear? Dylan loves Shrek. I haven't, I'm sorry. I genuinely have not seen Shrek in, in a long time. High Tide Gyojin. Liz, thank you so much for the donation. Can you, Dylan, can you favor us with a Shrek impression? Can you say, like, get out of my swamp or something? I haven't seen the movie in a long time. Liz, but thank you. But just try. Okay, I will. I will in one sec. Give me one second. Okay. Liz, thank you for the donation. Disney had the movie Princess Protection Program, but now it's time for its sequel, the Zyze, the Akira Protection Program. That's good. <laughs> well, now, well, now Demi Lovato and Selena Gomez starred in that movie. So, what Disney stars would you get to um to star in the uh in the Zyze in the Akira Protection Program? Obviously, we'd get you, and we'd have to get another uh like Broadway star. We have to get Emily Kramer. Emily Kramer. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Actually, that that's exactly who it would be. Another mystical elf hanging this card up. Oh, man. So, I mean, been a decent pack opening so far. We haven't gotten... Oh, I mean, we got Dust Tornado. We got Guilford. 
It's been pretty decent. Now, if if this was a real life scenario, would you trust Sam Black and Daniel J. Edwards and Emily Kramer with your life, Barrett? Absolutely not. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> Probably. I mean, you didn't even think about that. You said absolutely not right off right off the I bat. I know. I know. I'm just being. I'm just being controversial. No, um, I probably would. They're good people. Nina goes not the first two. <laughs> oh, no, I would. No, honestly, know, there... honestly, if you were if you were in a fight, Daniel J. Edwards is the guy you'd want on your side. He's, oh, he'd, he'd back me up. Absolutely. Yeah, he's ripped, Daniel J. Edwards. He's awesome. Magical Undertaker, Fishborg, and Water Hazard. Hopefully we get un- one more Ultra. But we'll see. Hopefully yeah. we get another skill. That'd be cool, too. We only have four packs left for those one. And hopefully we get that, uh, that Shrek impression. <laughs> we'll see. High Tide Gyojin. Another Infernity Beast. I have so many copies of these cards. Another Sonic Duck. And another uh, Fusion Recovery. And then, of course, stay tuned for the Dark Neo Storm box giveaway pulling. And the Patreon pulling. Great White. Another one. Another Umi, another a Theban Nightmare, and another It's My Lucky Day, our second Joey Wheeler It's My Lucky Day card. Basically, if you flip a coin or roll a die, if there's an effect that has you do that, you can pay a thousand life points and you choose what the result of the die or the uh, coin is going to be. By the way, Liz, like it's Dylan's lucky day. It is my lucky day. Two Joey Wheeler cards. I I do like Joey Wheeler a lot. Probably my. I thought you were more of a Tristan guy. No, I'm. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where you heard that, but no. The internet. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Ready for intercepting. Another warrior elimination. Two packs left after this. Another slushy. Two and packs an, Shakur. And or? another two pack Shakur. But we had another skill card. This time, viral infection. Seto Kaiba's skill. Once per turn, discard any number of cards and declare one type of card: monster, spell, or trap. Your opponent sends one card of the declared type from their deck to the grave for each discarded card. If you do that, flip this card over. So that is once per turn. I guess you can destroy their deck by doing that. But I mean. Uh. I, I feel like that's not that great of a skill, but hey. It's all right. Yeah, yeah, another skill card, which is cool. I also like how these cards, they're not just the generic, like, Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Like, in the back of them, they actually have, like, skill card Seto Kaiba or skill card Joey Wheeler. That's really cool. That's Wouldn't a cool little touch. Wouldn't it be fun touch. if they put little, um, little tasks you had to do out of the game? You know, like, uh, rather than send two cards to the graveyard, they could just write, you know... Uh, go have some marmalade. Yeah, but then it would be it would be like charade to a degree. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Are you saying that people wouldn't want to have marmalade and or or go go sweep uh you know go sweep up a little bit or something? Maybe I I don't know how people feel about marmalade. I've never personally had marmalade, so I I can't. What? I've never had. Is marmalade what? It's, is it fish? Like J- <laughs> Dylan? No. I'm kidding. I know it's this not. Is live. I know it's not fish. I'm. Ki- I say those things to get your reaction. Oh, okay. Well, if you got me. <laughs> oh man, fulfillment of the contract. Powerful of Kaishin. We got one more pack after this. Great Phantom Thief. So we have one more chance for Sonic Bird. I have a feeling Sonic Bird is not gonna happen, unfortunately. But um, yeah. I wonder if Tay has a skill card. She probably Drum does. Roll, please. Last pack. Oh, let's hope for the best. Pyramid of Wonders. Mystical Elf. It'll be the final card if we get it. Arcane Barrier and Robin Zombie. That's okay. Actually, you know what? I have one extra pack. One special pack. It wasn't included in the box. Don't ask me how I got it, but I have it. So we're going to open it in this opening. All right. Final pack. Let's go, baby. Sinister Serpent. Sonic Duck. Great Phantom Thief. And another... Another damn Imiruka. Damn it. So no Sonic Bird or Sonic. I, I, I don't even remember what it is. That's all right. We got uh, decent pulls, though. Yeah. We got uh, two skill. We really got two of these. It's my lucky day card, but I didn't put it to the side. We got Guilford the Lightning, and we got yes. Dust Tornado. Um, time to go win the W. <laughs> That's right. King of Games 189. Great box opening. Time to go win the W. CQ now. Thank you, King of Games. And everyone competing 
in the um in the championships, of course, uh, or the qualifiers. Good luck. I I am rooting for you. Um, but yes. yeah, let's say we go to um the winners of Dark Neo Storm. How about we do that? Sure. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of this for a second. Um, what you have for breakfast this morning? How is wait? Hold on. It was Levi actually a um a good card, <laughs> Brad. Hold on. It's at the very bottom. Let me find it. I didn't realize Levi was worth a lot. Hold on. I'll answer your question in a sec, Barrett. Let me just get Levi. Sure, sure, sure. I knew where it was. Didn't realize. I I, I probably should have figured, given its rarity, that it was a good card. Not sure when I'm dueling Daniel, but I promise I will duel Daniel soon. And make sure, if you have not already, that you do join the giveaway for uh, Speed Duel Attack from the Deep. Does not matter where you live uh, in the world. I will send it to you. I will ship it out to you. And uh, for the packs, as long as you are at least a $1 patron, um, you're eligible for the packs. So yeah, let's do the packs first. We have five Dark Neo Storm packs that we are giving away. And um, my, my trusty Yusei Fudo tin that I love truly. We have all the names in this tin, so I'm going to shake it up for about about 30 seconds. Give it a good shake. Give it a good shake. Austin T-Rex, how you doing? Or Austin T-Rex. I always think T-Rex. It's actually T-Rex. It's a lot of usernames that, you know, throw you for the old loop. Hey, oh, what the you, old loop. The old loop. I just added, I just re-updated this to all the new patrons and such. So, oh, perfect. Um, yeah. All you right, let's go. In there? Put yourself in there. I did not times. put myself in there. No, I did not. Barrett, give us a song as as I shake it. Yeah, give me a song, dude. Okay. Um. Uh, you want a little? Uh. Oh man. Pressure. Barrett, you know. Okay. Um, okay. While you think about a song, I'm gonna do it. I was working in the lab late one night when my eyes beheld an eerie sight. For my monster on its slab began to rise, and suddenly, to my surprise, he did the mash. He did the monster mash. You like the monster mash, Dylan? I will say it's not Halloween unless someone plays the monster <laughs> mash. <laughs> All right, let's do it. We're, we're giving away packs here. The first winner is... Victor Frankel, who is actually... A brand new patron of mine. He became a patron of mine not that long ago, about a month ago. So, Victor, congratulations. You have won the first Dark Neo Storm pack. The second winner is... Oh, God. Um, Smith620, who literally became a platinum tier patron at the very end of May. So, Smith, congratulations. So, two very new patrons went in off the bat. That's cool. Ooh. And, uh, yeah, that's awesome. Did they so, get like a, what if, they, if you're a new patron, do you get like a Dylan welcome kit? No, you do not. But, hey, we have another, this is, this, Garrett Palmer, this man is actually going, I've, I've, we have not met yet. We've talked, but he is coming to my house June 22nd. Sounds a lot more dangerous than it is. June 22nd. Is, is this for the pool party? No, this is not for the pool party. This is for talking Yu-Gi-Oh! into the brains. He wanted to come on. He lives nearby. And so, yeah, Garrett Palmer, we are going to meet mm. him. I'm going to meet him live on stream, and uh, I'm really excited can for that. You, can, can you actually, we don't want, I want to see the moment. Where your eyes lock and you meet for the first time. No, I'm not. No. I'm not. <laughs> like, it would be cool. It would be, but I'm not going to film. Him, keep him in another room until it's time to actually record so we can see the meeting. Oh, it will be organic. All right. It will... Fine. We're, we'll, I'll do that. I'll work on that. Rex Kentrix. Right. Congratulations, Rex Kentrix. That is our fourth winner of the Dark Neo Storm. Actually, all, all four of these people became patrons within the last, like, 60 days, which is pretty crazy. Um, wow. Yeah, and let's see. The final winner is Stardust Nobody. I know he's in the stream. That is awesome. So, hey. Sam, congratulations. He always ends up winning, man. He always ends up winning. Sam, great friend of mine. He makes the, the thumbnails the for that live stream. And, uh, yeah, Sam, good luck. Dark Neo Storm. I hope you pull exactly. There he is. <laughs> I hope you pull exactly uh, what you want to pull. And, uh, yeah, I'll be sending that out ASAP. So, congratulations to Stardust, Victor, Smith, 620, Garrett, and Rex Kentrix. Um, thank you. And, again, if you do want to get involved in those uh, pack 
giveaways, the individual packs, I do five every month. All you need to do is be a patron. But for the booster box, the big award, that's for anyone. Anyone can win that. So mm. put these names to the side. I'll put even, these. Even like your parents? My or? parents technically can, but I don't know why if they, they would. If yeah. They and, and, and like say your dad won. And w- would you, uh, would you get, would you, you'd have to, right? I'd have, have to. to. I'd probably, back. I'd probably try to convince him to say, like, come on, this is for people that. Can we do that... a little role play? Now, son, I won this fair and square. Okay, dad, you won. I'm going to give you the pack. And then I'd give him the box and that would be it. Oh, well, okay. I mean, well, I'm not going to put up a fight against, <laughs> against my. <laughs> it, would be, guess... it would be such a, a sad thing to, to fight about, you know? That, that, I guess you're right. Yeah, but Dark Neo Storm, we are going to be changing the screen so hopefully you guys stay with me it's gonna get very trippy okay boom boom okay now i want to make sure that you guys can see it's not just a black screen barrett you're gonna have to confirm that it's not a black screen i have a feeling it might just be me on a black screen which is gonna look really weird let me know if if uh they you see a web page behind me everyone write uh well you can well you just just look and tell me uh, everyone, write Dylan loves Shrek. If 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 it's uh, if the screen is uh, it looks fine. It's a black screen. Okay. Well, you could have just told me it's a black screen. Um. <laughs> all right. I'm helpful. All right. Let me um. Let me fix that real quick. Thank you guys for letting me know. Hey, Austin T. Rex, you said Dylan hates Shrek. Nah, you're you're wrong. Give me I give me him. give me one second, guys, and then oh, we sorry, will be sorry. pulling. The winner. No, no, you're good. You're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's not. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. <laughs> we should be good now. Hold on. I got to go back in for one second. All right. I don't know if they can see me, but it's not a big deal if they can see me. As long Here, as you. Let me, I'll, I'll, let me look. As long as you can hear me and see the screen. I can't see. Dylan. Can you see the screen though? Can you see the yes, at a random pick winner? The winner? I didn't change the name of it, so it's supposed to be Dark Neo Storm. Don't be taken aback that it says Infinity Chasers. This is not the Infinity Chasers giveaway. That already happened. And um Yeah, I'm excited. We had twelve hundred entries, so thank you guys so much. Uh you guys can all hear me, right? I don't want to go back and make it trippy, but th- I'm no one's saying they have a problem with the audio, right, Barrett? Uh not to my knowledge. Good, then we're good. Okay, so the winner. Of the Dark Neo Storm booster box is three, two, one. Alejandro Morena Jimenez. Congrat! Oh, Costa Rica, Alejandro. Congratulations, Alejandro is also the first winner that is not based in the United States that won one of these boxes. So, Alejandro, congratulations! You're the first international winner uh, of this giveaway. And uh, yeah, that's freaking awesome, man. So. It's crazy to think that people from all over participate and and watch. So Alejandro, yeah, congratulations! Probably are watching in like Prussia. Pro- yeah, maybe in Prussia. I don't. Is Prussia even? Is Prussia a country or a city? Nope. <laughs> no. I didn't no, think it was no. real. It's, <laughs> it's not anymore. <laughs> right. Okay. It's like Czechos- yes. Czechoslovakia, right? Or Czech? 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 Czechoslovakia. I butchered yeah. that name. Oh man. Yes. But, um, yeah, congratulations, Alejandro. And uh, I'm watching from Astro World. And uh, be sure to enter Attack from the Deep because, hey, you never know. And, uh, yes, I did just steal that from the, the lottery. But, you know, it, it, it applies true to everything. And, uh, yes. yeah, uh, congratulations, Alejandro. Thank you guys to everyone who watches. Uh, without people who watched, I wouldn't be able to do this. Without people who donated, or pay, supported me via Patreon, there's no way I'd be able to afford this. So uh, thank you guys. It's just a small way for me to pay you guys back and and give back to the community that I do uh, truly love. So thank you hey, all Dylan. so much. Hey, uh, Dylan. Yes. You ever do like uh, Ancestry.com? Or, uh... My brother did, yeah, because he highly just... Dis- oh, what, what'd you find out? Well, my brother highly disputed that we were Irish. I don't know why he was so against that that thought. Um, and my parents always told us that we were very Irish. And so we're only about 4% Irish, where like 50% like Italy, Greece. 
Um, but it's all it's all spread. We have a little bit of, of Middle East. We have like two percent Middle Eastern in May and us. Any, uh, relatives? No, no, no. We didn't find no. Oh, he did a he did a DNA test. He didn't not really like a relatives thing. Oh. Yeah. So a little what bit. If you, if you found out that you and I were related, do you think we'd hang out more, or do you think it would just kind of stay the same? Um. What do you? Uh, I probably. Just, what do you mean? What kind of question is that? We'd probably stay the same. <laughs> I don't think we'd. Ha- I mean, maybe we'd hang like out more. If you found out we were like brothers or something, like would you? Well, would would it stay the same? Or, yeah, but but like, we're we'd, but we're we'd not stay friends. But but we're not brothers, man. Well, like we're, like that. We don't know. No 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 no. We, no, we definitely at this point in our lives know that we are not blood related. We don't know. No, we do. Trust me, we do. No, I'm saying hypothetically, you could be related to one of your your patrons. <laughs> I could be. No, I could be. But I, I, unless there's a huge family secret, then then we're not related. Or I know my family. Unless there's a huge like conspiracy inside my family, which I guess is possible. I'm open. Sure. I'm open to the idea. Goosey Q, thank you so much for the donation, dude. For the table, Dylan. I'm saving up for the table. Uh, congrats on your success. Thank you so much. Hey, my success is only because of you guys. So uh, thank you all. Yeah, as long as I'm not related to Shrek. Thank <laughs> God. All oh, right, you know what? What about that impression? I don't I don't remember Shrek. I mean, like, I know the impression. I'm not a voice actor, like, Barrett. It's it's not ogres easy. Are like onions. Oh. It's not easy for me to do impress. It's not as easy for me to do impressions <laughs> as it is for you. Hey, we all have our skills. You're right, and you have voice acting. I have making poorly edited YouTube videos. <laughs> They're good videos. I like to think the commentary saves them, but... It, commentary <laughs> but, does save them. <laughs> the Windows Movie Maker doesn't really do it justice. Uh, oh, Christina, how you doing? Thanks for thanks for coming by. You ever... Uh, hey, let me ask you another... I, I actually wrote down a couple questions I've been meaning to ask you. All right, what's up? What foods, what foods can you prepare for yourself? Uh, I can make pretty decent pancakes. Be- oh really? Yeah, like below average pancakes, I'd say. Um, we should do um like a a cooking sh- cooking with Dylan, you know? Yeah, I could. I mean, I can make um the mac and cheese, the craft mac and cheese, pretty well. Oh. Yeah. I, yeah. Well, I don't know if that is that qualifies, but go on. All right. Well, I mean that that's about the list. So that's <laughs> oh, two things. Okay. <laughs> well, look, I'm not sure, a chef. Sure. I, I don't know how to cook. I use I'm going to teach you how to, how to prepare a, a nice lentil soup. Okay, that's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm not opposed to cooking, by the way. I think cooking is a very useful skill. I've just never been taught or in a position where I needed to know how to cook. You know what I mean? We could have your own little show. Ba-doop-ba-doop, what's cooking with Dylan, you know? Yeah, I mean, that that's a pretty good idea. And I'll, I'll bring it live. We'll, um, yeah, cooking everything. That'll be the, the name of the show. Cooking everything. Cooking everything. That actually, that's actually pretty good. Because it's like it, it keeps the everything name, the but it's brand. but it's cooking everything, so it kind of makes sense, you know. Yeah, you could also do one called flicking everything, where you just go around the town flicking things. I mean, I could do that. I don't. I don't see the <laughs> the benefit of some of a channel like that. But <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah. N- oh, a neat, also, neat... Uh, have you ever? Well, what's what? up? Let let Nina's, t- Nina's yelling at you to let me wrap up. Oh, 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 oh. Go on. No, 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 no. Ask your question. Ask your question. And then, you and ever, then I'm. You, ever, you live close to the city? I do live close to New York City, yes. I'm about an hour train ride out of it. You ever taken a Broadway show? No, I've never gone. I've never. Oh, yeah. I, I did see a Broadway show. I saw the, um, the show with Larry David a few years ago. Oh, Fish in the Dark? Fish in the Dark, but it was the one that Larry David couldn't make, so George Costanza, the guy from Seinfeld, replaced him. Oh, that's unfortunate. It was still good, though. I mean, that guy's funny. What? Someone yelling at you? No, no, no. Why, you heard something? No, I thought you just said what? Oh, no, no, no. No, I'm sorry. I thought you said something. I've never seen Shrek Live. Please tell me Shrek Live is not actually a thing. There's a Broadway... Broadway musical. Oh, God. <laughs> what? Hey, um, you know, it's get so can we just knock this out of the way? I know you gotta wrap up. But I mean, do you even anyways, so um what, Wait, what? <laughs> no, I'm just seeing
you know, it sounds like you, you know you, you're in for the night. Why not? Uh, why not? Uh, you know, uh, well, stream for another few uh, minutes. So um, my so my plan my plan for the night. Yes. Was oh man, George one one two. I have not seen that username in so long. George one one two used to upload clips from the Yu Gi Oh show back when I was uh. Yu-Gi-Oh! Memories on YouTube. My God, I have oh. not seen that name. George, dude, I have not seen that name in so long. I hope you've been well, man. Jeez, that is a lot. <laughs> that is a lot. You guys long- should have lunch together. Yeah, maybe we should. I, I didn't even... It's, it's crazy because, like, you don't know who's still in the community and who's not. Because, like, you know, three... You know, the community's, like... In, in anyone online... That's, that's what always fascinates me with, like, knowing people online. David, how you doing? Like, people can just delete their accounts and then you never hear from them again and they're just gone forever you know yeah no, like, no, it, no, it's the wild world of the internet it's crazy man jarek how, how you doing dude thanks for coming by it is the uh the wild you didn't see hamilton pete did you? oh no you did see i'm sorry you did see hamilton that's right oh <laughs> hey 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 i meant to ask this on this this, this stream the other day yeah well, well uh, when you guys did your saturday stream all right would you rather, um, anytime you leave the house, you have to unscrew two light bulbs, or you always have to walk around with crushed pretzels in your pockets? Uh, I'd probably unscrew light bulbs. I can do that pretty quickly. That's like a three-minute thing, you know? Might become annoying after a while. Uh, it probably would, but crushed pretzels in your pockets just, I mean... Then you can't even like swim without the pretzels getting everywhere. Like there's so many. You I can't... like that your first thought is swimming. Well, because I, I we just opened the pool, so that's why I'm. I'm... I know that leads me to my next question. <laughs> uh, well, hold on. Before you ask it, yeah, are the pretzels in a bag or are they not in a? No, they're loose in your pocket. Yeah, so then like that's the problem because sure it's free food, but it's it's rolling around with your pocket lint. Like that's where you, you could keep... just. But then later you can just like suck all the the pretzel stuff out. You know. Every day, though, that's more of a nuisance than it was unscrewing light bulbs. I guess. I mean, yeah, light I bulbs. Feel like he, it's light, light bulbs. bulbs for me. All well, right. but anyway, literally, so, right after the stream ends, I'm I'm scripting and and editing and and record. Like you know, the it's not like oh, I'm. Oh, the night is not over. Yeah, it's not like I'm gonna lounge <laughs> on my like patio I, for the next three hours, then go to I sleep. I might lounge, read some Archie comics or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, do. no. That'd do be nice. Bubble gum. I do that on the weekend. Saturday night is my relaxation night. That's when you I like relax. Gum, Dylan. What? Do you like gum? I do like gum. I am a pretty uh, advocate gum chewer. Favorite flav? Probably bubble. Ah, uh, like wintergreen. The spearmint's my uh, spear. I'm indifferent. Spearmint's my second favorite. Yeah. Ah, uh, all, right, all right. Yeah. Hey. What's up? Almost heaven. West Virginia, Dylan. Yeah, I'm still here. You gonna sing? I don't. What song is that? Sweet Home Alabama. No, it's <laughs> Country Roads Take Me Home. I knew it was one of those country songs. I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I, I'm not a singer, and I don't know that song until the chorus. Oh, you want to sing the? You want to sing the chorus? Yeah, sure. You start it. Okay. Country Roads. Take, Take me home. home it's a me, Mario. West Virginia, Mountain Mama. Take me home, a country road. That was that was beautiful, dude. You honestly should quit voice acting and be a singer full time. All right, I'll do it tomorrow. You should, dude. That was that was that was beautiful, man. Oh, thanks. I mean, Thanks, you're going to get stands you know. all over the country. Yeah. I'm going to get what? You're going to get stands. Oh, stands. That's what oh, all the course. that's what the cool kids say these days. Uh, is that short for Stanley Yelnats? I don't know what it's short for, but it just means like, you know, big fan. No, I know what it, it it's it's related, it, you know, do you know what can I give you a brief history on on what stand the 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 history of it? Is, is, does I it know ha- the origin. Does it have to do with the Eminem song? It may have to do with a little Eminem song. All right, so I knew it. All right. Anyways, that's all. All right, well, Barrett. (laughs)
<laughs> Thank you for joining me, man. Always a pleasure. As dude. always. Always a pleasure. It's been a pleasure. And hopefully you will be able to come on a on a Saturday live stream soon and in person. That'd be great. A Saturday night live stream, sure. We don't even, you know, if you come, we don't even need to talk reigns. We can talk anything you want in life. Uh, I'm like, uh, you know, uh, going camping. Sure, we can talk going camping if you want. Sure. All right. Great. Great. Well, all right, everyone. Have a great e- evening. Yes. And uh, buy paper towels. Buy paper towels. R- remember that. Yep. All right. See you, Barrett. Bye bye. <laughs> so that was uh, Barrett Letty, the voice of Akira Zizen in the English dub. Hopefully, the English dub does come out in the States very soon, uh, where we'll be able to watch it in the United States. But if you're in Canada, Australia, definitely check it out and support the Vrains English dub. If you want more live streams, uh, I am live every Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time discussing the most recent Vrains episode uh, with my friends at this very table. And uh, even though there's no table because it's a green screen, but yeah, uh, Saturday, 3 p.m. Hopefully we'll see a few of you there. A lot to talk about. Vrains 105 was great. So thank you all so much for coming by. Uh, Congratulations to the winners. And again, it is because of you guys that I'm able to do these kind of giveaways. uh, And I cannot thank you enough for the amazing support you have shown me the last almost three years now, which is insane. Uh, So thank you all so much for coming by. I will definitely talk to you in the comment section on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter. I have my stuff in the description. And yeah, thank you guys. Love you all. Have an amazing night. And uh, yeah, until next time, thank you for watching.